I give my pie, uh, straight, uh, straight, uh, uh, or, or, uh, uh. No hands, no hands, I don't know what to think about that. I boom, bang, I'm like, I'm into the points, but they're not your average points. Shocked face. Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome to the Strem de la Strem. Uh, thank you so much for joining today. <laughs> ah! Woo! Everybody got blown away. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> fun microphone glitches immediately. Anyway, welcome to. Uh, <laughs> Welcome! Oh my god! Welcome to Diddy Kong Racing! This is my first playthrough, meaning I've never played this in my life. So we're gonna be experiencing this together um, for the first time on my end at least. Um, wow, I'm really sorry if I literally just blew anybody away. Um, I'm like, where's the game audio? There it is! Um, I'm still recovering from a cold, so I'm gonna keep things shorter than usual. That's kind of the norm until I feel 100% better, which I don't yet, so we're getting there, though. We are getting there. Um, 
Let me know if this game is too loud. N64 games are so much louder than any other game on my capture card. Um, anyway, welcome everybody. I hope you've been having a good Saturday. I've been having a good Saturday. However, Odin Spec is sick. He caught my cold, so he's been, he was coughing last night on stream. He's like, oh, maybe it's just like allergies. So he's, he's been uh, sick, so he might make a sick cameo back here, but, um, you know, it's hard to escape. We're married. You know, what happens? Uh, we're in a small space. Can't avoid it. Whatever. So, unfortunately, he's under the weather now, too, but, uh, the good news is I'm almost, I'm, I'm getting closer every day to being 100% recovered, um, but I'm still not there. So to be kind to my voice, to make sure I don't lose my voice. That's why I'm streaming for a shorter period of time than usual, but we'll still get plenty of Diddy Kong racing in here. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, happy Saturday, everybody. I hope you've been having a good weekend. It's been a lovely weekend for me. There he is, there he is, in the orange shirt. It's very red, but not on this yeah, camera. It's, it's very red shirt. I can't believe it looks that orange on here. I'm wearing my, uh, Thackeray Binks Black Flame Candle hoodie. So, you know, getting the spooky vibes on. Yeah, it looks so orange. This actually is orange. That is not, so I don't really know. Um, but anyway, like I said, this is my first playthrough of this game. So I've never played it before, I've never rented it, I've never played it at a friend's house. I've seen none of this game before, other than just like brief lurks at other people's streams but not really paying attention and I know the soundtrack a bit uh, but that's about as far as that goes so knowledge ends there there we go I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this screen as I read off everybody who's in chat currently uh, we have Alan Edgehead Phantom Tempest big snack go big snub with the sub thank you so much for the first sub of the night snack shocked face I did hear that as I was getting ready classic um, <laughs> thank you for that snack. Uh, let's see, Psycho Nacho Man is here, Joyful Ringer, Phantom Tempest, I already said your name, I'm sorry. Uh, Phoenix Warriors Tim, Lauren, happy birthday to Lauren, I saw you post about it. 30 years old, 13 going on 30, uh, but happy birthday. And also Matina, and who else? Scottman895, Rocky Mount, uh, Pink Eagle Soaring86, and oh yes, Matina, your favorite childhood racing game. It's funny that like I just missed this entirely, like never rented. This would definitely have been a game I would have been interested in renting, so I'm wondering if just it was never available or something. I'm not really sure, but I do love racing games, and I love the N64, so I'm sure this will be a fun time. Uh, Riggs Jacob, welcome! And... Big Pixie, Pixel Plume, Brandon R3DS, Wallabite, and thank you for the bit Star Dev, I appreciate that! And then also... Um... Dudes, I can welcome uh, straight, uh, straight, uh, uh, Big Three uh, uh, in the house. Uh, Naru Sonic, thank you so much for the sub. But they're not your average Thank you so much for the prime sub. Very much appreciated. All the boss to you. Thank you again. Um, so you guys, thank you also for voting on the Twitter poll. I had a poll today on my Twitter to decide which game to play tonight, because I was supposed to play this on Tuesday, but had to cancel the stream due to getting sick. And then I was um, debating between playing this or Fall Guys Season 2, since that just started last week. Uh, actually, a little bit over a week ago now, but since that just started, and I haven't played that at all on stream, but it was an overwhelming vote for Diddy Kong Racing. 83% of votes. Uh, were for Diddy Kong Racing. So 83% thank you to those of you who voted in the poll earlier to choose tonight's game. So I appreciate your input. Um, and I think with that we're ready to go. So let's get started here. And I'm gonna actually... 
mute my TV on this end so that I can hear the game a little bit better. Again, let me know if volume's weird. Um, whoa, look, look at all these crazy folks. Um, okay, how many people do I recognize? So, I don't know who this is. There's Diddy. I have no idea who these are. Banjo, my man! That's probably who I'll play as. What? Why can I not go this way? I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't think I know you. And is this Conker? He looks so friendly. Weird. Okay, well this is cute. All right, I'm gonna start with Banjo. Wait, what? <laughs> so if you select him, oh Banjo, what a hot uh, voiceover. And then if you deselect. Disappointed. The guilt in this game is real, and we haven't even started yet. <laughs> I'm Banjo. Who are a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a I kind of forgot. I made a different play. donation goal than what was up there before. A little start towards Disney Dreamlight Valley. No. Oh, I love that game so far. Oh, thank you so much. I Okay, I wasn't going to do this. I was going to wait and be patient. But I keep wanting to play a Disney game because I wanted to keep like Disney, Disney vibes alive um, past my honeymoon. And I was like, oh, whatever. Maybe I should just make it a donation goal and gauge interest from there. Thank you so much, though! I appreciate that! Um, everything I've seen on Disney Dreamlight Valley is, like, ultra positive review. People love it, so I'm sure I will, too. So I finally was like, okay, I'm gonna just make it a donation goal. So thank you so much for donating to that! Uh, I gotta give you all the pizzas. If we can get all the pizzas in chat, I'm gonna give you all the pizzas, um, all the pogs, and some Santa. So why not? Thank you so much. Um, on that note, time to download Disney Dreamlight Valley. Do it, Brie, do it. Um, so from left to right, okay, it's Crunch. Wait, let's go to, look at this, we're still on player select. Crunch, okay, I don't know who that is. Diddy, I know. Drumstick, that's a terrible name for a chicken, no. Bumper the Badger, I'm guessing. Banjo, we know. It is Conker? He just looks like a baby here. He looks like a baby. Um, oh, Tup, Tip Tup. I do know Tip Tup. He looked familiar and I second guessed myself I shouldn't have. Uh, Pipsy and Timber. Okay, I don't know these guys. Okay, I don't think I'll ever get over Banjo's. Oh, Banjo! Oh! <laughs> I just want to hear what all of them say now. Bye, it's crunch. Wait, what? Uh, bye, it's crunch. I is crunch. Uh, Buh. Okay. Time Diddy, whoa! whoa. I'm, drumster. I'm Drumster. They're so disappointed when you don't pick them. I'm what? What? <coughs> Bumper. Okay, hold on. When you don't pick Bumper, he's just like, oh. That's like how my mom reacts. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm Conker! Ah! <laughs> Why is this so good? Tip top. Ah! <laughs> That's a very Bobo reaction. That's a hundred percent Bobo reaction. Oh, um, hold on. What's this one's name? Pipsy? Uh oh. Timba. Timba. Oh my God! It does sound like Tin Man. I look. Ah. I think Banjo is still my favorite. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna get off this screen. I'm sorry. I could be here all day because this is way too entertaining. Um, C9 Cage, welcome. Oh, woo! Please do not change Rumble Pack or Controller Pack during gameplay. Controller Pack is required to save and load ghost data in the time trial mode. If Controller Pack has limited capacity, you will be unable to save ghost data. If you wish to change controller pack or rumble pack, please do so now. Here's your warning. A very long sentence. Okay, adventure. Adventure 2. Tracks. Uh, I guess adventure. I don't know. R-Dub, Wes, and Bad. Um, I don't know. Let's just <coughs> erase one of these. Yeah, we'll erase Wes. No, game B, B for Bobo. Um, anyway, what am I saying? Oh, I'm like way scrolled up in uh, chat for some reason. Okay, now, this screen is really good though, I can't even lie. Now, are you talking about the character select screen, Pixie, or that hot caution screen? Because both were pretty intense. Enter your name. What? I don't, three letters, that's it? Uh, well, I, I can't be Bobo. Usually it's four letters, so I guess I'll be M-Dub. Here, R-Dub. Let's go M. Dub. <laughs> We're gonna follow the trend that R-Dub set. Um, the character screen, but the caution screen was also hot. Yeah, put Bob. No. Shy guy for days, welcome. Oh wow, it's super dark. And unfun. It's Pride Rock, except not really. It's like if Pride Rock was run by like uh, Pumbaa and he was an evil. Rolly, thank you so much for the sub! Welcome back to the Bob family. But they're not your average points. So we can actually see the game. Woo, happy 52 months. Just redirecting from hell, which I call work for a bit before I go back. Oh, girl! Thank you so much for the sub! Uh, and... 52 months! Thank you so, so much! And I'm glad you're done with work. That's also good. Um, actually, sorry, I'm moving the alert around so that it's... Okay, this might be too small now, but we'll figure it out. Um, okay, what am I doing here? Alright, so I guess I drive where I want to go to the adventure I want to go to. No, 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 no! How do I get to Elefante? Oh, I love the banjo sound effects. Change vehicle. Select your vehicle. Car, hover car. Work it! 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 I can work highly it. recommend Disney Dreamlight Valley. Oh my god, thank you so much, Kabumek! I, kn I know that you are super impressed with the game and you're definitely not alone which is why it led me to just make this a goal because i was like okay might as well this many people love it there's no way it it could be bad thank you so much for the donation though i really appreciate that you made me 15 again i'm gonna give you all the virtual hugs some hype disguise some chips some toads um and some pizza because why not oh shoot except i messed up here Ah! There we go. Sorry, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Yikes. No! How do I get this off of here? Okay, thank you so much, Kabumek, for the donation. I really, really appreciate that. Um, Dream Night and Dockside, welcome. Uh, also, I have no idea. Let me just look at what these look like. So there's Hovercraft. Oh, that's cute. Plane. I think for the sake of just starting out, I'll do car, just to be cool. I don't know. Um, so I guess I don't really need to talk to that guy. Uh, looks like I got bopped. No, I promise it's a good thing. I can honk with Z. 
and you can slide with R. Okay. Odie was trying to tell me some of the differences between this and Mario Kart 64 before I went live, and it looks like B is like super tight turns, R is just drift. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, anyway, I grew up with Mario Kart 64, so this might be a little bit of a curve, curveball. Oh, cool! So you have to get balloons to unlock stuff. Alright, five, two, who's this tomato? What? It's a, <coughs> a tomato. It looked like a tomato. What is it? Oh, it's a clock. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that uh, I was thinking like you know how in Mario you throw the bananas. Maybe it's tomatoes in this game. Hi, I'm TT. You can ask me about your game status or select my time trial mode to practice a level. I can also save your best ghost. Status. Okay, well, I haven't even played anything yet, so my status is literally nothing. Um, tomato, clock, same thing. Twitch Nick, welcome to the stream. Happy Saturday to you as well. Ooh, what's this? Boss level! Okay, fine. I'm not allowed to go there. I have one balloon, so I guess I'm going to Ancient Lake. <sighs> okay. Ancient Lake, here we are. Oh. Okay, that was not. I was. 3, 2, 1 didn't happen, so I was ill prepared. Okay, so that's tight turns. Just gotta get the hang of. Ah! The hang of controls. I think I already used my item and I didn't even need to. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm just getting the hang of the controls really quickly. I'm also playing on my modded N64 controller that looks- No! No! Oh, sweet. That looks like this. So, um, the Z button is actually on top instead of underneath, like down here. So, it, I keep accidentally pressing it when I'm meaning to press R, and that's not helpful, so... <laughs> I'm in first, though, somehow. I, mean, I guess it is the first level, but... Oh. So good! First place! First place, baby! Alright, here comes uh, the genie again. What do you say? Slow down? Oh, whoa there. I thought it was gonna slow down! I was like, dang! Sweet, I get a golden balloon for this. Okay, well that was easy enough. It's just the one track? That's it? Okay, so... Next up we have... I guess this works differently, like you have to unlock each track. Individually, but it's all like one cup. Oh, okay, I guess I did it right this time. I like the hi the dinosaurs in the background. <laughs> Dumb sound effect. Crap, I keep avoiding things I'm supposed to run into. Alright, and then I'm guessing the bananas are like coins? Maybe? I'm not really sure. I would assume. Uh, I don't know. No, 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 don't, don't tell me, but, I mean, I, I'm not gonna be heartbroken if, like, you say, yeah, it's, it's, like, I don't care that much, this game is, like, a thousand years old. I will say that the bananas are exactly what they are. Okay, so, like, I, well, that's what I would guess. That's what I would guess, and I don't like the coin system, so, you know. It's not my favorite thing, but... I can't say I'm not used to it by this point. 
Yeah, it just seems like it is in Mario Kart. <coughs> oh, I honked at him. Really badly about getting items, which is. Whoa, Bobo! Twitchnik, thank you so much! Thank you so, so much, Twitchnik! Here's the rest of the money you'll need for Dreamlight Valley plus a couple extra. Oh my god! As always, Bobo, keep up the amazing work. Oh my god, thank you so much, I Twitch Nick! I really up, appreciate up, that! Uh, uh, no hands, 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 I think I just need to hug the corners a little bit more, and I'm... Ah! I'm getting the buttons mixed up a little. Which is a result of just getting used to the controls, but... But, my gosh! Oh, okay, hold on. First of all, let me adjust the camera. Thank you so much, Twitchnik, for getting us to that goal, the Dr Disney Dreamlight Valley. Now a reality, I really appreciate it. Um, like I said, I wasn't sure how interested anybody would be in it for sure before it's like free to play. So thank you so much for your interest. I'm giving you all the goals, all the pogs, all the boss, some virtual hugs, some pog fish, and let's put some ranchers in there too. Thank you so much, you guys, for helping me to get that goal. I'll definitely have to work that into the schedule for October then, for sure. Or possibly even this coming week, because I don't really have anything dead set for that either. Um, and also, if we can get all of the boss for, uh... My username is meant to be confusing for Doos Diz, Does Diz, um, from Psycho. Thank you so much. And also, I'm gonna put a Psycho Dorito ship out there too. I'm very interested! Okay, good. I'm so happy. It'll be nice to play something new. I haven't played something new like that in a while, so. And with all the Disney hype as of late, it just makes sense. All right, I'm right smack in the middle, which is not where I want to be, so I'm gonna have to try again. Um, but you know. It seems like a very Bobo game. It's simulation, it's Disney. It reminds me of Disney Magical World, just looking at it. God, I love all the sound effects! This is the second racing game I've played with Banjo in it. Whoa! No! Okay, well, that wasn't the move. So, Odie, would you say Mario Kart or Diddy Kong Racing is harder? Uh, yeah. This game, probably. Really? Yeah. Um, Just because of the setup of it, or? I think so. Like, I mean, as a single player experience. <coughs> right. You have to win. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> oh! I will say that the controls are pretty nice, though. I love it. It feels very smooth. Um, I mean, it definitely feels similar to Mario Kart. It's not like worlds different or anything. But it's a lot... Um, I I'm glad that... You know how, for me, at least, growing up with Mario Kart 64, it kind of set a standard that a lot of racing games fall short of. And... So then they're just like automatically disappointing um, because of the way they control or their lack of control or whatever. Like, for example, like Mickey Speedway USA is fun, but the controls are kind of garbage compared to Mario Kart. Um, they're just not as good and they're not as smooth. They're not as reliable. Um, this feels much more like on par with Mario Kart, I think. And, you know, I might be a little bit biased to Mario Kart because that's what I grew up with. It's what I'm familiar with. Um, I'm obviously not going to have a huge amount of trouble with it. 
Um, yeah, but this feels like a good experience rather than like, oh, this is like funky controls that I don't really feel all that in control of. Um, am I? Well, poop on steak! Um, oh, really? Like a heavyweight? Okay, well, maybe I'll switch it up and see. No, 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 no. I understand, though. Um, also, I'm going back in chat. Kaboomik, that said, does the Switch version offer the higher founder packs? I feel like you'd enjoy the exclusive items of the highest one. It does. I just didn't know if the price tag was justifiably good because I feel like the basic is $30. Um, obviously it's a little more after tax, but it's $30, and then I think the next one up is like 60 and then the highest one is 80 so it's quite a jump. Um, so $80 seems like a little too much for me, personally, especially for a game that, you know, will be free to play. I know that it comes with some stuff. Oh, the middle one's 50 okay. So... I, it just seems like paying full price for a game, so for something that will eventually be free to play, I'm like, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. I also don't really know what it comes with. I didn't look too deeply because I just didn't think I was going to spend that much on it, but... I don't know. If there's anything that's like worlds different than the base pack, let me know. Um, anyway. And then also... Uh, oh, that's true. Compared to Mario Kart, there are multiple vehicle types in this, which is interesting for N64. Sprats, I'm doing well. I'm on the mend still. I'm still getting over a cold, but I am doing better each day. Getting back to work, Rolly. Enjoy the rest of your work, girl. Um, anyway. Oh, I'm- Water Pixels, I will forever be playing Toontown as well. No! No! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and return to lobby. I'm gonna try a different character out. Which I'm assuming I need to just... Yeah. From here? I did? No! Okay, return to... Okay. Okay, good. I just didn't want to not save. Also, The Rock, welcome to the stream. Um, let's try somebody else. Uh, is, uh, Toot Tut? Tit? Wait, what's his name? Tip Tup? I was like, what? Tup Tup? Alright, I'll try the lightweight. I tend to- He's pretty good. I tend to like lightweights in Mario Kart, so I'm gonna try him. Because I like Tip Tup. Tip Tup, he's a cutie. Alright, we're ready. Oh, look how cute he is! Ooh, he blends in with the grass. Now, I'm ver very familiar with uh, the music for what I assume is over in that snow area. Also, shout out to my uh, BFF GK. Uh, your BFF, my BFF uh, GK well, for the. Oh, so. just shout out to him in general. <laughs> Doesn't he voice banjo, though? Uh, I thought he did! Uh, no? I Am I wrong about this? Oh shoot, I messed it up again. I got it once. <laughs> I just love the... Uh, the voices are hilarious. It's fabulous. What, well, that's his horn? Is it like a clown nose? <laughs> oh, that's great. Ah! Oh, this girl is so fast. There you go. That's what I needed was the shortcut. What did he say? You idiot. That's yeah, that's, I think that's what he said. He says you idiot. I keep pressing the Z button when I mean the R button, and vice versa. And it's... Ah! Not what I want to do. Alright, I am 
am doing better with him, though. That or I've just had a little bit of practice. Yeah. I tend to like characters that have high acceleration stats. Ah! Yeah, which Toad is my main in Mario Kart. Shoot, I'm always on the wrong side. Might be okay this time, though. Man, I'm so used to Mario Kart, I keep going back and- ah! I keep going back and forth and I'm not supposed to. I have a pretty good lead. Yay! We did it! Woohoo! <laughs> um. Anyway. Yeah, well, I kind of forgot, like, oh yeah, there's kind of a system, right, of like weight class in racing games. Um, is Odie a fan of rare games? Some. I don't know if you heard him, but he said some. I like games that are good. <laughs> That's such a, like, gamer thing to say. No, seriously, like, they don't make, like, you know, they've had some misses. Not, well, that's true. They have had some misses. But what are your, like, what are your favorite rare games? I can tell you that Perfect Dark is my favorite first person shooter. Okay. But I like being remastered on Xbox Live. I, I couldn't go back to the N64 ones. It's just too choppy and too slow. But like the, the remaster. So Perfect Dark beautiful. is your favorite rare game. Uh, okay. Okay, sorry, I'm just practicing here. Um Oh, Jungle Falls, let's go! Uh, so, for me, I'm kind of the same. I would say most rare games I'm a fan of. Um, have I played them all? By no means. No, I have not. Um, when it comes to, like, the retro stuff, I feel like I have played the larger titles minus Tui. I still need to play that at some point. Um, and I just know point blank, I hate Conker's Bad Fur Day, so I will never play through that, but, um, which, you know, that's kind of a game that has a rep for the wrong reason, like, people like it for the wrong reason, um, not because it's a good game, but just because it's very brash and crude, and that's just not my style of anything in life. Oh, look how cute this is, with, like, the footprints! The uh, Oh, sweet. I don't get latitude for doing that. Will I get first doing this? No, but... Really? I thought it was ancient something. Oh, Dino Domain. Also, as somebody said that asked a question earlier about backseating, I don't really think it's super easy to backseat on a racing game. So, right, like, so, I mean, I'm really not too particular with this, guys. Like, I'm not asking for tips, but I'm also not worried about if somebody posts something, like, I, and is like, wow, if you do this with this button, you go fast, fast. like, I don't really care. I, I'm just gonna, because it won't matter. I, I've got to get used to the controls by just, playing, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, yeah. So, I'm not too worried about it for this, that's why I don't have like a no backseating or no whatever. I, I don't really care. It's a racing game. Um. Ah, I sucked! <laughs> Backseat driving, am I right? Um. Backseaters be like, press A harder. Exactly. I, I don't think it's too deep. Um, uh, would you torment yourself through DK64? I tried Sprats, but my Wii U version was too dark. And just didn't... I just needed an N64 controller for my sanity. So I actually I have it on N64 now. 
However, I don't have the um, expansion pack. Odie has one, but it's with his stuff that's not here. So um, I'm just gonna have to wait on that anyway. I'm not in any rush, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I would love to play through it at some point. Now, will I like 100% it? I don't know that I'm that ambitious with it, but I would like to just play through it for fun. Um, but, and, and I enjoy watching playthroughs of that game. Um, I've enjoyed watching people stream that game, speedrun that game, LP that game. I, I've really enjoyed watching, um, just watching gameplay of BK64, so I would say, um, yeah, that is a game I've streamed before, but then I stopped because of the whole brightness issue and control issue. Oh, yes, girl! Anyway. I'm just a big fan of, um... No! I'm a big fan of... No! How did I do this? Uh, oh, no! Okay, I messed up. I might just have to start over. See if I can do anything crazy. Yeah. Come on. Ah! for the follow. <laughs> well, um, yeah. And I know DK64 is like that because I've seen enough playthroughs of it. I'm gonna have to get really lucky here and I'm probably not going to. Okay, well, whatever. I got a little bit more practice in. Um, I really love Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie, both individually and collectively as characters. Um, and I kind of got on a kick where I wanted to have all of their games, um, or all the games that featured them. So that's why I have, like, Sega All-Star Racing on Xbox. I have Nuts and Bolts. I have Banjo-Kazooie, and I now have Banjo-Tooie. I did have Grunty's Revenge on GBA. Um, but I don't have that anymore. I feel like that's the only... I don't know what else I'm missing. Now I have this. Banjo's in this, too. Oh, I did it! Oh! And then I went right into the water. Sure. I actually didn't know that. I thought he would- I didn't know this was before Banjo-Kazooie. What?! Really? Oh. Okay. I just did the same thing again, so I'm not I'm not dealing with that. Okay, anyway, sorry. That's so weird though. You can keep talking, I was just being... Oh, okay. Banjo looks like such a cutie in this game. This is like his preschool phase. No, you can't. That's that's why I just assumed she wasn't part of this. Because it just says Banjo, and you, I couldn't see her when I was racing as him. I don't know. I don't know the reason. Maybe they intended to, like, separate them outside of, like, the game they have together or something. Okay, I almost did it again. He's gonna be so mad if I did. Hi, Julie! You know what I do like about this so far is that none of these tracks are super long. So far. I mean, my... So, having... Having to redo this over and over is not the end of the world because of that. And I I get it, they'll probably get longer later, but as of right now, starting out, it's really nice to have shorter tracks to start with that don't feel like 
you're taking all year to get through. Yay! We did it! Um. Anyway. Temporary. What? Timber, I think, was actually meant to be the main character for this game, actually. Interesting. Who's Timber? He's the tiger. Wow. That's kind of weird. I think they were just like, well, let's put Diddy Kong, because, you know, let's sell the game. Yeah, they wanted to sell it with, like, a character that people recognize. It's also very bizarre to see Diddy Kong in a game without... Donkey Kong. That's very weird for me. I don't think I've ever played a game where they're not both in it. Okay, so I have four now. Which means... Uh... To enter the trophy race, you must complete all the tasks from the world. Way to suck. To enter the store, you must have all the balloons from this world. Everywhere I go is like, you suck. You can't do this. All right, so I need one more balloon. Um, so let's see where else I can go. Uh, okay. <laughs> My God, Fire Mountain TT Challenge. So the one I didn't read is the one I should have paid attention to. Okay, hold on. To enter this door, you must find the key. The key is hidden on one of the Dino Domain racetracks. Okay. Good to know. I gotta find the key. Um, I gotta find another balloon. fun how it's like a little adventure. This is where I just was, right? <laughs> I just like being able to honk at these people. Um, Alright, I'm not gonna change my- oh, I ran into him. Sorry. Uh, I'm not gonna change my vehicle yet, and I obviously can't get up to any of these other places. Right, where's the... Is there like a hidden balloon somewhere? Huh? Well, I would imagine, but... I really I like driving... Oh, okay. Oh, wow, look how fun this is over here! I like how I just started to drive up that door. Okay, maybe I do need to- maybe I'll change- oh, secrets. Okay, maybe not. I'm not allowed to know the secrets. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this elephant and... Okay, sweet. I like how the whole sky changes colors. Um, let's do plane. This is the best. Can I have a few birds in the house? Hello. Oh my god, no. Okay, I've got to learn how to control this plane. That says Whoa! Big Snack goes back and Big Salimbo! I know, yeah. What if I just drove up the lighthouse? I tried! It didn't work, but... Um... Oh my god, thank god the jetpack is not in this. I spent like two hours trying to get the hang of that jetpack. It was terrible. No! Hi fly higher, you idiot! Can I not go higher? What the Alright, I need to find a balloon. Uh. Watch out! Dang it. 
tip top. Dang it, it's just a lamp. Where are the balloons? All right, give me a hint. I don't know, do I? Why do you act guilty over me asking for hints? Oh, there it is. Well, I found it, so the hint was, you don't need a hint. So that spelled it out for me. Dang it, if I could get it. Look, it's M-dub color. Okay, now how do I... Hey, get over here. Come on! Quit run around like an idiot! Just come over! <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Alakazoom! Alright, thank you. Horn honking intensifies. Alright, anyway. I'm gonna stick with my car for now, just so I don't have to grasp the controls of plane or hovercraft. Um, but we found this fifth balloony. Hot top volcano. Funny thing about that is, uh... <laughs> no, what? Oh, come on. But I don't want to be in a plane for this. Yeah, no. This is not going to be good. There's a wall. But the game knew I wouldn't be good at this. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. I'm missing everything. Oh, sweet. No! I'm not meaning to! I did not run into that wall. No, I did not. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> I feel like I'm endlessly zigzagging. Like, go lower. You're too high. Dang it! That is not the button I'm trying to press! Ah! Okay, I have one more lap to get my act together. Yeah, at least I did... At least I flew around the world a little bit. Good. Yeah, at least I flew around the world just enough to not be brand new at this. Am I good? No, but... Stop! Don't! Ah! Okay. Well, I did not come in first. I tried. <laughs> Honk. Solid, uh... Zigzag strategy. She zig. She zag. Oh my gosh. Okay. I need to steady out my uh, my racing. Anyway. Turning's a lot different. It is very different. The arm button. Also. Like, not like the power slide. It's kind of like a white. Yeah. In this, it's a lot tighter. Yeah, so I could tell. True. Gotta get your violence license first. I guess so. Once you get the hang of that, that's it. Also, before I continue, I need to look at why my camera is so freaking washed out. Yeah, but I never look at the tutorials anyway. There we go. I know, but I'm just saying for the different vehicles, it's kind of surprising. Yeah, it is kind of weird. All right, we're gonna try again. Okay. Come on, Tip Top. Dang it, tip. Quit looking to the left. I look to the left. Be 
hear what he's saying to me? He's going, watch out! I don't think I collected a single banana last time. Dang it. They're all too close to the ground! wall every time it doesn't look like a wall it looks like the path and then I go right into it God. don't give me the caution signs I just love the voices. All right, we're good. We're good. We did it. Woohoo! Yay! Anyway, I know Diddy Kong Racing also got released on DS, but I've heard the DS version isn't anywhere near as good, which is bizarre to me cuz like how do they mess that up? You know? Like how? Big golden balloon! Ooh. Okay. From worst to first, that's right. Yay! I'm not driving, so it's automatically taking me here. Boosh! The big doors! Alright, so now I have a boss battle. Which is this big... Oh, okay. This big triceratops. Yay! Oh god. Rare and- No! Rare and races like this! I have trouble dealing with. <laughs> oh. It's kind of brutal. <coughs> Are we just on a big swirl? Well snap! Ah! Dang it, I missed him? I missed that item, I only had to swerve. No! <laughs> I messed up. Okay. Let's try again. Uh, let's try again. Yes, this game's voice acting, A+. Also, sorry I am not looking at chat as much as usual, but racing games tend to do that. Solidness. That should have hit him. Dang it, I would have had perfect aim if it had been that other item. A boosh! Dang it, I hit a tree? not figured it out. No, I have not figured it out. Oh no! The tree got me! No! 
Okay, I had to be close to the end, though. I was, like, right at the end. I got too nervous. I got way too nervous. Yeah, I have not figured out the, uh, balloons. Dang it, he stepped on me! I mean, sure, I don't really care. Oh, they're all, like, specific items? Okay, so then the red are the, the fire. And then the blue must- No! I did it again! Blue or boost. I don't know what purple are, but I've seen them. Um, maybe. I don't know. There's not a purple one? Oh, okay. Well, then maybe I am talking about. Stepped on again if I get too close. This is quite nerve wracking! I think I may have screwed myself over just now. Oh, what? Oh, How? <laughs> what? Well, sweet! Woohoo! Okay, I was not expecting that to work out like that. Yay! Well done, kid! I don't want to try your new challenge. Collect all the silver. You must find eight from each level and win, and then come back to see me. Oh boy. I mean, I guess, yes, I do like this because it gives more reason to play. Try pressing break when skidding! I have been pressing break when skidding. Sometimes. Alright, well, sweet! Um... So now... Oh, wow. So everything reset to start over. So I have to collect eight... Okay, so I have to collect eight silver coins. Um... I have to complete all tasks to do that. And then I have to find a key in one of the levels still. Ooh! Whoa! <laughs> Bubba! Let's go, Bubba! <laughs> oh my god, it's been such a long time since we've had a Bubba raid! Thank you so much, Bubba! Shout out to your return to uh, streaming. We actually had you on... Before I went live, we were lurking. Um, shout out to Big Bubba 1722, um, who was last seen playing. Wow, error, hot. Um, you were playing Splatoon 3. I know that much, but apparently it's not going to tell us that. Thank you so much, Bubba, for bringing your community over here. To anybody who's new here, I'm Madam Wario. I'm playing Diddy Kong Racing for the very first time. This is my first playthrough, um, and it's been a blast so far. I love it. Uh, I love the voice acting, especially. But yes, yeah, shout out to Bubba, Crow Hacks. Welcome, Bubba. Welcome back again. I'm so happy that you're back to streaming. Um, Wario Boy, I don't think I've said hi to you yet. I think you probably just walked in when I was, like, not paying attention. Also, um, shout out to Gamer Michael! Double raid! Thank you for raiding as well, Gamer Michael! We just had two raids, like, at the exact same time. Thank you so, so much, both of you. But I missed you, Bubba! We all missed you so much! I'm so happy. How was your stream? And Gamer Michael, how was your stream as well? Um... But anybody who's new here, I'm Madame Morio. I'm a variety streamer, very partial to Nintendo. And I am playing, like I said, Diddy Kong Racing for the first time, which N64 is my favorite console, and somehow I missed this game entirely as a kid and even as an adult, so here we are. Um, it well got to debut the- Yes, I saw it! I saw it! That's awesome! I saw your VTuber, or PNG tuber. <laughs> I love it! That's awesome. Um, 
but yes, welcome to all the raiders. And apparently that Twitch command is like not working because it didn't work <coughs> yesterday either. Car challenge to test your driving skills. You must race me around the what? I have to race him around the island? Where am I going? Oh no, I've taken the wrong route. Try again. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. You talking to me? I'm just talking out of a bunch. <laughs> I messed up. Um Hello friend. Challenges. Select the challenge. Yeah, where was I supposed to go? In a circle? Ooh, N64 flags. Huh. Well, he's slow AF, that's for sure. I don't know how fast a flying carpet is. Aladdin and Jasmine went around like the entire universe in like a night. That's true. So I would think that'd be pretty dang fast. Uh anyway. Well done. Take this as a reward. I'll see you later. A big balloon. Yay, we have a big seven. Okay, I'm guessing I can't go to any of these other areas yet because I have the uh, challenge. Let me test out the hovercraft really quick because I haven't done that yet either. <laughs> I just love that you're able to honk at people in this. Hovercraft. Okay. Ooh. Okay, anyway. Um Let's go. Oh, there we go. Now we're fast in the water. Which I'm assuming because this is like a blow up thing. I don't know. It'd be easier on like probably like maybe the snow levels. Oh my gosh! Maybe if I can go in a straight line, that would be cool. Whoa! No! I was so hopeful. I was so hopeful. No. Okay. It's very difficult to turn in this thing though. He's a turtle. Can't he just swim? Aha! There's another balloon. Woo! Number eight. Celebrate. Oh, I can't go that way anymore. I keep running into the invisible wall around the game. His straight? What's that? I don't know, because I'm not going straight at all. Um... And I can't go in the lighthouse. I want to. Let me go this way though. Mm, probably because I can't go that way. All right, I'm gonna explore. Watch out! I'm gonna explore the other areas or this other area. Very least. Ah! Ah! Let me see if I can fly. Let me see if I can fly over here as well. Okay, cool. Um, let's see if I can go. Oh, it does let me go up in it. Okay. I assume that there, like, a bridge would build or something, which maybe it does. Oh, wait. No. I just need two. Okay, apparently I just didn't look around enough. Um. 
because I'd like to see a little bit of this world too before we do like challenges. Oh sweet, so this all just connects. Okay, I'm trying to get a feel for where the heck I'm going here. Wait a second, did I go through that tunnel earlier? No. Go in the log! Did I go this way? I don't know if I did. <coughs> oh wait, okay, so I did go in part of the log, but not all of it. Ah! Okay, hold on, I'm trying to get back to this fun tunnel right here. So it doesn't matter what I use around the island. Okay, so it'll change into... I'll change into whatever vehicle's necessary for the race, like... Oh, so I could've gone this way, too. Okay, sweet. I'm learning all the ways to get places. There's a lot of, there are a lot of ways to go that lead basically to the same place. Let's go ahead and go in here, though. Cause why not? We have two balloons. We can. There's the tomato again! And Everfrost Peak. It's gonna be our first one. Oh, we're in a plane anyway. How appropriate. Look how cute it is! It's all nighttime and stuff! Oh, I've definitely heard this song before. I was gonna say, I feel like I've heard a lot of the winter songs. Just in videos, in memes, on streams. All that stuff. Come on! I like the candy canes and the snowmen on the sides. It is. What about Freezy Peak? <coughs> oh. Okay, so we have a rainbow balloon that has a magnet. Which I don't really know what that did unless it stole his item. Yeah. Or it just pulled me to him? Okay. Come on! If I'm lucky, I can do this. Ah! That was terrible aim. Come on now. I'm so close. Man, I was so close, but just far enough to come in second. I really want this game for Switch Online. Yo, I'm so excited for all the games coming out on Switch and Switch <coughs> Online next. All the Mario parties on N64, let's go. I mean, uh, that's just like the ultimate feat for someone who... Yes, and with online, like, I just, I can't wait. I'm so, so, so excited for that. All right, well, I did pretty good for my second, uh, second uh, plane style race. So we're going to do that again, because I think... Now that I've had some practice, I'll be better. Also, Armand 2017! Hey, ladies! How's it going? How has your weekend been? Okay. Can, are the... Do the boosts on the ground not work if you're in a plane? I was gonna say, I run over like three of them now and none of them do anything. Mm. 
I guess I should try racing as some of the other characters just for fun too. That's kind of cool. Right. Which I feel like I would like better. And I think a car? I think this is a I don't know if I would like this in a car. I think this is water, so. I like how the hovercraft works on water. gone lower if I'd realized. Dang it! Come on! Alright, well I am doing a lot better now that I'm a little familiar with this. Oof, these turns are just so tight. Up, down, up, down. Sorry, guys. I'm not trying to make anybody motion sick here. What? Could you think? No! I didn't get down there soon enough. Want this? Hi, Julie. Yay! I did it, Julie! Anyway, Ghost Fishy, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the chat. Oh man. Jill G, come on up. Here she comes. Well, come on up. No, you go up there. Jilly's like, I'm not really too sure about that. I got my eyeball blanket out for Halloween, you guys. Alright, cool. Come on. I'm cozy. You get cozy with him, Jilla! Alright, I can literally do all of the tracks that are presented in this little corner here. Jilly, why you gotta be stingy? I'm gonna give my hand a quick break though and catch up on some of the chat that's been going on. I don't fucking back seat obviously, but I think this approach I think is probably the good one. Yeah. Like, Instead of doing like an entire world and then moving on. They're really hard. Okay. It's well, easier just to try it's kind of like race, I would rather have some more variety with like style anyway. So I'm totally fine with that. Um, also, once we get one more balloon, um, I can go into that other area off where the lighthouse is. Um, Armand, your weekend's been well. You got to hang out with a friend today. Awesome. And. Let's see, Gamer Michael, you got some food? What you eat? <laughs> Odin needs a kitty nurse! Exactly, Jilly! Why don't you be Nurse Jilly? <laughs> She's so nervous being around the big gamer over there. That must be it. He's too big of a gamer. She, she's cool with just being, like, around me, but not, like, near No. She's like, mm, I don't know about that. Was gone all day, and she was just in this game. She had to keep an eye on him. She had to keep an eye on him. Oh, Nick, thank you so much for the gifts up to Ghost Fishy. I Ghost Fishy, congrats on the gifts up. I'll give you all the boss, you guys. Thank you so much for helping me to get closer to that 110 goal. Uh, thank you again to those of you who helped me uh, get to the Disney Dreamlight Valley goal as well. I'll have to download that after uh, the stream. I, of course, I'll... I'll wait to start it until I'm actually streaming it, but I'll at least get it, um, get it on the Switch. Um, okay, what am I doing here? Walrus Cove! Hi, Julie, you gonna come up and join him? Go on up and join him! She's gonna come see Mama. You wanna, you wanna say hi to everybody on stream? Come here! Come here! Let me see that bulbous body. Here she is. Here's my baby. Oh, that's a purr. Oh, that's a purr. What do you think? Do you want to see him? She's like, I'm not too sure about this. Oh, why don't you want to 
Awesome job, Julie! Oh, no, too much. <laughs> oh, Julie. <laughs> oh, Julie. Anyway, if you're if you're newer here, that's Jill G. She's my uh we can get whatever that is off the floor that she's chewing up. Um she's my baby girl. I have two kitties. It's a piece of that paper bag that I let her lay on earlier. <laughs> I keep pressing the freaking Z button. Um, Jilly is two years old. She turned two in April. Her gotcha day, or really her founja day, is in August. August 28th, so I just made her birthday April 28th because she was about four months when I found her when she found me. Ah! And, um... Oh, this is the song! This is the song that I... No. No, this is... This is the song. It does kind of... I hear it. Um, but... Oh, it loops! That's what this is! How fun! <coughs> this is, like, the number one song I know from this game. And it's because I have had it on Christmas playlists for years. Um, it's a fun song to drive to drive around to at Christmas time, especially when it's a uh, you got the flurries out, you're doing some holiday shopping. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's it. <laughs> she did stream that day. She did. And by she, I mean like um, it was Friday, so it was supposed to be Friday night Mario Party, but then the girls showed up outside at like 10 a.m., and so I had this afternoon stream. Yeah, I did. I know. Little baby girls. And I was like, guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I, when I tell you guys I am still like blown away by the generosity at that stream to get those babies help, I I will forever be so grateful to you all for doing that. That was just, like, incredible. And I, you know, I never expected such an outpour of love for the charity of helping these two poor innocent kitties who were just dumped. Okay, that wasn't very good, but... Yeah, that stream was two years ago, over two years ago, as of about, it's been about two years and one month. Which is crazy, because that stream feels like it was, it could have been last week. Um, Loreply, how's it going? This looks harder than Mario Kart. Um, I wouldn't say it's harder, just like, having grown up with Mario Kart, but it is different, so like, it obviously takes a little getting used to. I feel like the controls are pretty smooth, though. Yeah, I think the controls are a lot better. Really? But I think it's a game. Right. Which I... We're not really there yet to where I can determine that, um, based on my own experience, but... Um, both Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart 64 feel very different. Yeah, they definitely have, like, a, a little bit different control mechanic. However, they're both very smooth, in my opinion. Um... Like, to be fair, it's probably just oh, because it came after it, so Yeah. I know Rare didn't win Mario Kart 64. Right. Like, they were part of Nintendo still. So yeah, sure they so they had to have some so. kind of... Yeah. Well, Julie, will you, you might have to move the beast. I love this loop. It took us till Mario Kart DS to get a loop, and... Here you get one in Diddy Kong Racing right away. Ah! Oh, Julie. Dang it, I keep I'm telling you guys, this is ZR conundrum. Also, Slimbo, we I've watched uh, some of your not DK64 randomizer earlier. 
I don't know, it just made me think of it because of the music. I was like, oh, it's DK64. And I'm like, wait, this isn't DK64. I really enjoyed that banana peel uh, skin. <laughs> oh, it was pretty funny. I like that with the Link to the Past randomizer, they always have like the different themes that are really cool to change it up and I don't know, just keep it fresh. Oh. <coughs> I'm feeling I'm doing worse this time than before. How do I... Oh, like that. I was like, how do I not fall in? Oh. I not sucking. Oh wow, Julie, so comfy. Get Boghorn Leghorn out of here. She just sunk into the. Uh huh. Oh really? Well, thanks to uh, J W question mark um, for the big chicken for Boghorn Leghorn. How do you normally get him? Like, in this mode I'm in now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would eventually get it. Oh. It's, it's like, it's not obvious what I'm doing. Right. Definitely not obvious. You wouldn't be able to do it again. Oh, okay. This is not happening. I know his name is Drumstick, and that's tragic. Okay, I didn't do any better. I did not do any better, you guys. Jilly, you're so cozy. She was ready to pass out. Um, I might try switching my character just for fun. Um, all right, let's quit. Quit. Sorry. Uh, drumstick would make for yes for a great Animal Crossing chicken. Definitely, that's a very Animal Crossing name because they're pretty brutal with some of their names. Um, also, um, let's see, what was I saying, Diddy Kong Racing takes little, takes a little practice once you get used to get good at the games, it's kind of similar, like Mario Kart, but different tracks, it's a fun game. It's see, I just like the layout of it, it's very different in that regard. Um. Your kitty is two years old too, and he hates driving in cars. I had to take him to the vet the other day for his vaccines, and he hated it. I felt so bad for him. I need to get those anti-stress uh, pheromone sprays to make him less stressed next time I have to go to the vet. I also just despise having to take the girls to the vet or anything because they absolutely hate it, and it's terrifying for them, especially Kit. Um, Jilly, she's nervous, but she'll do it. Kit is just like, thinks she's gonna die, basically, is how she reacts. Um, I've never tried the, like, relaxation sprays or anything like that. Um, I just try to make things as comfortable as possible, but you can only do so much, because you can't fully communicate to them what is going on. Um, but yeah, I just... I hate it. <laughs> Drumstick stories that Whizpig turned him into a frog. What? In order to unlock him, you had to run him over with your car? That's terrible! He just has such a tragic backstory. Um, that's really ridiculous, though. I'm sure you have to run him over with your car. Um, you're doing well for your first playthrough? Well, thank you. Okay, but why did I hear you say drumstick and think of the ice cream? Now I want one! <laughs> That is, that is fair. That's valid. Um, yeah, we used to get those all the time at dance. Uh, Pipsy is the easiest to control. She's, well, I can tell she's a lightweight too. She's a lightweight. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing is just done so well, even if it's not the best looking kart racer compared to Mario Kart. I think it looks fine though. I like the look of it. It's very cute. It's very rare. Um, Yes, that's Banjo. No, that really is him. He listen. A uh, banjo. Uh, banjo. Whoa. <laughs> that's my favorite thing from this game so far. Is just that. 
Listen how the music changes too when you pick him. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Or does it is that what made it change or was it just a different part of the song? Oh no, it did change! Oh it does! This will not be the this would not be the first game I've ever raced as Diddy in, which is funny. Let's try Conquer, just for the heck of it, because I'll never play his game. He is cute. He's like a baby. That's why I said earlier, he's like a baby. They weren't planning on making him drink and stuff yet. Thank God, they ruined him. Get over here, elephant. Alright. Um. No, what? No, what? No, no, I meant it. <laughs> I hit every button but the one I wanted. Let's use the hovercraft to get over there. Alright, let's go. He's got his little life jacket on. He's ready. Alright, let's try. Ah! Can I get over there in this? Are you serious? I have to have the plane to get over there? <laughs> Just honking my horn a bunch over here. I miss the uh, clown nose honk. Come on. I've been honking at you for 10 years. Get over here. Change my vehicle. I'll get out of the river. Hello, friend. <laughs> He's a genie! He can come over to the river! Okay. Get out of here. Driving me nuts. Alright. I like this rainbow tunnel. Come on now. There we go. Okay, we're ready to go. Finally. Uh, technically we could try... The other course too, but we'll do this one one more time. Oh man. Okay, I'm still curious about what 12 Tales Conquer 64 would have been like if it had come out like they'd originally planned instead of becoming Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Who knows? I would. Uh, that's what I would imagine is that it wouldn't have been that different. Yeah. Which, the adult aspect of it is what I hate, so... Wow, awesome pitch so far. Yeah. Like, if you're interested in a Conquer game, you try that one instead. I played it growing up, and it was alright. It's not a crazy bit, but yeah. it's not bad. Alright, I am not doing great again. Such a bizarre direction to go in. I know. Especially on Nintendo. Like, did it even sell? Did it sell well? You know what the sales are like for that game? Like... I'm just curious. This is on sale? Yeah. Buy it here. I'm not really worried about where it placed as far as like top games, but like just how well did that game sell in general? Well, according to this list, I mean, like, this is just a 
Yeah. Um, every game on here is over a million, and the lowest is a million forty thousand. So it's the chance. I'm guessing all the games on this list mm -hmm. are the only ones that have reached the million. Sales. Oh, okay. So by the sounds of it, that didn't reach the million. Well, so it's not even like it was this amazing selling game like that then. Not to say it couldn't have sold well, but... Because a million's quite a feat, but... Um, also, third place, I'm gonna just go see what Frosty Village is like. It's probably harder, but I'm just curious because we've tried this one a few times and not had the best luck with it. So let's let's see what this one's about. Okay, so 55,000. Oh, look how cute this is! Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome to the Queen's Home. <coughs> Queen's Castle. It's the fourth rarest Nintendo 64 title comes. Huh. And well, I guess the cartridges themselves were possible. Why? Oh, really? Is it? It's a pretty big game. Like, I, like I, the I, cartridge I mean, itself is bigger, how? Like inside. Like, like it's not, taller? Like, no, 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 no. Oh, I was like, what? No, not like How does like it a... fit in an N64? I thought you meant like it was a larger cartridge, like it was taller or something. I'm like, that makes no sense. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I've seen a Conker's Bad Fur Day cartridge, and it's not that big. Change the cartridge shape. be like referred to as the Conquer cartridge. This is so cute! This is like a little Christmas town! It only sold 55,000 copies well, when it first, first released. First well, when it first released, so first month. So, like, like, that's not, like, and now it goes for three to five hundred? I feel like I've seen it for sale and it's not been nearly that, though, but that was also yeah, years ago, so... I mean, that could be, the first off, is the bidding sites, also, too, this would be complete copies, too, so... Right. Like that, uh, oh, right. I if that's, know, if complete, then yeah. I do know loose, it does go for a lot. I know it, it does go for a lot, but I don't think it's game. that I much. Think it's about 100. Yeah, that sounds realistic for just the cartridge. But, but that's a lot. Like, we, I know, but I'm just saying... Line. I'm just saying, like, that's not 700, that's not seven times that amount, like... No, no, no. I've never even seen an N64 game cartridge for sale for 700. No, it's probably not much. Yeah. Um, like I said, that's, this is Wikipedia, this can be drawn from, like... Yeah, that's true. Also, Sleeper Agent, thank you so much and welcome to the chat. And Tuxedo, welcome as well. Um... It's a chunk gay. What? What? Yeah, it's a big chunk. That's it. It's a big chungus. Okay, well, that was a lot cuter than uh, Walrus Cove, in my opinion. I'm gonna switch characters again. How bizarre. That game came out the same year as Paper Mario, which is a bad thing. But also the same year as Final Fantasy X. It's that. Like, I Wait! Can't, I can't believe Final Fantasy X is that old. Like, like, look at that game on the PS2. Like, that game looks pretty good. Like, like I can't believe the N64 is going back around. Yeah, 2001. Wow, I didn't realize it was, like, that late on the N64. Pay attention to me, dude! It's early, but it is a 2001 game. I love Ben. The GameCube came out later that year. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, Paper Mario is like a late release to the N64. I didn't realize it, Conquer was around that time. I thought it was older. I think Paper Mario is the last Nintendo release game. Yeah. I think it is too, from what I remember. I'm gonna try Pipsy, or whatever her name is. Pipsy, Pipsy! 
Let's see if I like her better than Tip Top, just because I like the lightweights. <clears throat> Yeah, Walrus Cove. Okay, anyway. Really? Wow. That's like unreal to me. You guys didn't know, but I was actually the publisher behind Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. <laughs> Hot Bobo uh, trivia. No! You know what? Just speaking of Bobo trivia, I used to have these giveaways on my YouTube channel back in the day where I would have like random LP trivia. Um, of my own, just because I'd be giving away fun prizes and I wanted them to go to, like, genuine fans, genuine viewers over just random people who just wanted free stuff and wandered to my channel for that alone and didn't watch or have any interest in my videos. Yeah, so I would have, like, trivia, like, about games I played. Like, I remember doing one for Animal Crossing and it was, like, what kind of fruit tree did I have in my first Animal Crossing town, um or in my first LP of Animal Crossing. What kind of, what was the name of the first town I ever had in Animal Crossing, not affiliated with the LP, like, just like fun random stuff like that. Who was my first villager? You know, it was all, it was a, <laughs> it was an Animal Crossing uh, trivia giveaway. And then I compiled everybody who answered correctly um, into a drawing and then I drew a name. And I, of course, had some people that entered, like, all the answers with, like, it was the same person with, like, a different email. Dang it! I was so close! With, like, a different email. And, uh, so I just tried to take any copycats out. But, uh, <laughs> the most, like, disrespectful thing that would happen, even worse than, like, people making fake names or whatever under the same email or whatever was that people would I would announce like here's the winner here's everybody who answered all the trivia correctly congrats and I would have like a credit sequence I would always 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 get these sore losers that would post in the chat or in the co not the chat but the comments and be like well, even though I got all the answers right, I wasn't included, but it was fun to be part of this anyway. Or they would be like, I know I got all the answers, but you didn't, you didn't include me. Like, they would use it as, like, they would make it out like I was such a jerk. Like, oh, even though you didn't include me when I got everything right, like, thanks for having the giveaway anyway. Like, I'm happy somebody won. I'm like, no, you're not. You're making up stupid stuff and being passive aggressive. And I would, like, block these people. <laughs> I'd be just like, um, actually you didn't get all the answers right, or your name would have been in the credits. Like, you are insulting my intelligence by telling me I don't know the answers to my own trivia, and that I don't know how to count, and that I don't take the time to know who did what. So, you're an idiot, goodbye. Um, but I just remember that happening so many times where you didn't include my name, but, um, I actually did get it right. This was fun, though. Dumb. So, anyway, that just, I don't know what reminded me of that, but it was like the most backhanded thing when I would have giveaways. Um, yeah, it's really stupid. People are such, never, like, never, never be, don't be a sore loser, guys. Like, come on, not you guys, but like, people of the world, just don't, don't be like that. What'd you say? I didn't really have that when I was doing my little Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Got salty about that. But that's like not a physical thing. I think because they were winning like a game and a plushie and a thing. I, I don't know. Because it was like a physical prize, people got really like people get far more competitive over physical prizes than digital or virtual prizes. Um in my experience, and it just kind of brings out the worst in some people. And then they get blocked or banned, and it's like, well, was it worth it? I don't know. I don't have time for people who are just deceitful and insult you without caring. Like, if you're gonna be that dumb and that rude, like, you have no business, like, in my business is kind of how I view that. Dang it, I need to go to the left. I need to go to the... One of these times. Can't believe this is taking me this long. Granted, I have been switching my character around to try new people. But I think the fault is more so in the fact that I'm inconsistent. Anyway, the, the whole way that I got this idea to do a contest like that for, like, genuine fans versus just randos um, was that I actually entered a Degrassi trivia giveaway when they were having, like, a special um, premiere for one of the new seasons. They were having, like, a premiere in person where the cast was going to be there signing autographs. And they wanted genuine fans to win the prize. It, again, they didn't just want somebody who watched like the television network that Degrassi aired on to win. So they had this really hardcore trivia of like specific things from different episodes. And I remember I got all the answers right. I didn't win the giveaway, but like you know, they didn't they didn't tell you. Um, you know, they didn't tell you if you got all the answers right or wrong until the giveaway was over, and I'm sure they dealt with stupid stuff like that too, but, you know, they did, they did not release a credit, so it was like, wow, check out these people who were all, woo, who were all, like, on it, so. No, they, that's what they wanted. They wanted people who knew. That's why they had a trivia giveaway. You were saying that No, they didn't want people to just randomly Die! enter the giveaway you saw it on TV. Um, well, Manta, thank you so much for the extra $5 holla. I really appreciate it. Hey, are Girl, you thank you so play? much. I gotta give you all the pizza. Let's make it an even $40. Laughing face. What? <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much, Phantom. I big appreciate Thank you so, so much, laughing face. Um, no, do you understand what I'm saying? I get it. Like they just, like, that they didn't want people to just enter for the sake of something. winning a trip to Toronto. They wanted people to enter because they wanted to go to the premiere, not because they wanted to go to Toronto. That was the idea. But, um, anyway. Also, Silex fan, oh, welcome. And this would have been back in like 2004, I think. Because my passport was still good. Woo! And because I had like a children's passport because I had gone to visit my sister in Europe when I was 12. And so I was like, oh my god, I can go. But I don't even think it was required to have a passport to go to Canada at that time from the US. Um, I switched. I think that was the second time I tried Walrus Cove with her. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I went right to Frosty Village and completely ignored uh, Snowball Valley somehow, so... Oh, get out of my way! I don't want you! I know, but I haven't even seen this one yet, so we might as well go in order. Um, okay. Go! I keep forgetting to hold down the A button. Oh, here's the classic song again. Ah! I like how you bounce out of the ice. Like, it's cold! Bounce. Make it, make it bounce. Boogie. 
big snowball face. Oh, look how cute they are with the big faces. Oh, that's fun. It's a very claustrophobic track, though. I'm not as well as I would like. Come on, keep stealing my items. Let's start going for the um, blue balloons. just too far behind too far behind you guys don't let the happy music fool you though they are snowballs wanting to squish you they are cute though and I do like how the mountains have like goggles on so cute I always talk about this I would love to go to a ski resort that's like one of my dream vacations um, all right I got third Try again. Let's try again. I also didn't realize there were two ways to go. So when I did lap two, I'm like, I don't remember this. Ah! Spills. Getting all the bananas. I'm missing all the freaking items again. Dun 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 dun. -dun. Right there, I was right there. Ugh, man. Oh well, I tried. I really did try, you guys. Big oof. Um. Uh, I would say that Pipsy feels kind of the same as Tip Top. Honestly, I'm not noticing a huge difference. It's like slightly slower, but slightly. Yeah. Yeah, they feel very similar. It's not like a huge difference. Um, sure, I'm sure there's experts that oh, would yeah, say but, otherwise, but, but I'm tip casually. <laughs> I agree, Pixie. Tip Tup has the funnier horn, so I'm like, he definitely has that going for him. Yeah, he does have the clown. <laughs> That's not really what I meant to do. Alright, I'll give this one more go, and then I want to go back and see what that, uh, lighthouse area is like because now I have enough uh, balloons for it because before I didn't you see that pro strat Ooh. Wow. I mean I wasn't just talking to you anyway I was just talking to the chat yeah, wow. Like, go to the right. I'm, I didn't do anything. I'm not getting too snipped. Oh. My own oil I almost slipped on. So you're not needed. Um, 
sometimes. Sometimes I'm just using them to get rid of them because I don't want the. This is a Mario Kart. I. You know what? I know it's not Mario Kart. No, I'm saying. This isn't Mario Kart. I'm saying you have a balloon. When you grab a balloon, it just replaces. I know, but that's wasteful. I have to use it. I did it. Woohoo! This isn't Mario Kart. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I know you didn't mean it like that. It was just funny. You're like, this isn't Mario Kart. Okay, can I leave? Oh, that's the boss level. Where am I going? Where are we going? Those alerts are dead until next year, you guys. The, uh, the summer alerts, that is. Uh-oh. Oh, what you want? Cover challenge test. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, I'll test my skills. Oh, okay. Oh no, I messed up. Uh, okay, I, I didn't do what he was asking me to do. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to go this way. It makes my life a little bit easier to go check this out. A boosh! Okay, what's it, what's in here? Um, 13, 16, 10, 11. I can do two of these. I can do uh, Whale Bay. Let's go! Oh, I'm going. Like, I'm going to Whale Bay, baby. Also, thank you for the follow. Whale Bay. Yay! Oh, this is the first uh, track like this, too. Ooh. And it's a little poopy. I love the whales! They're so cute! Oh my god, I love it! Oh, I love that! I thought that was telling me I was going the wrong way. Okay, the hovercraft turn is way too sensitive. Also, this is the first time I've raced using the hovercraft, so that makes a difference too. Okay, but that was not- that does not count! It was so <laughs> embarrassing! I know. I'm concentrating this hard. I'm not winning. Um, anyway. I do! I love the whales! Whales are my favorite, uh, favorite animals. Um, okay. I'm so excited. Alright, let me go- I'm gonna actually quit out of here so I can switch back to, uh, Tip Tup. And I'm gonna go back to the Freezy Z Peak area. I know it's not called that, but. What's he say? Hey, come on! Alright, big E11. He definitely has the best horn in the game, for sure. Select your vehicle. Alright, um, I can go to the, the Christmas village because it was really cute. We practiced it a couple times already. So we are ready to go! He's got a little- he does! His horn is a clown. And it's just fabulous. 
Frosty Village. <laughs> Having to reverse to go in here. Um, yeah, I did. I tried this one before I realized there was another six balloon course. Because it has all the Christmas houses in the distance! All the Christmas vibes. By the way, this was just so irritating to me. I saw, we went to Barnes and Noble recently. Oh, did you tell this on your on your stream? Oh, it's, exa it's exactly where I'm going with this. So they had like this little display of books that were like with different themes. So they have like fantasy, um, adventure, I don't know. Uh, just random underwater, like, it's just one word descriptions um, of different themes of, like, these books that were on display. And then for Harry Potter, okay? No, hold on. What? The section was controversial books. Oh, it was? Yes. Okay, so the section was apparently controversial books. It wasn't which like I actually, but, I forgot about this. Yeah, I thought it was just like, books. oh, different genres. Okay, my mind blocked this out because it thought it was so stupid. So, okay, apparently the, the section was controversial books, but it had, like, different themes, though. It really did have different themes. And it has one, and it's anti-Christian, or anti-religion? Anti-religion, Harry Potter. And I'm like, cute, but, um, don't they celebrate Christmas? I'm like, so whoever decided that this book was anti-religion hasn't read it. That's cute, but... What? The dumbest thing ever. They celebrate Christmas! Hello? That's part of the story! So incredibly dumb. Whatever. There is... Th it's such a dumb argument. I'm like, there is ritual in literally everything that you do. And there are things that you say that you don't know where they come from. And it's because they are historical. Like, and celebrating Christmas is not called anti-religion. Like, no, that's called celebrating a religious holiday. Like, dumb, dumb. I'm not going to start anything. Okay? <laughs> Alright, but I just want to imply the idea of, like, what does anti-religion mean? Because I don't... I don't know! I don't know if you guys know this. <laughs> there is far more than one religion. I don't know! So, are they just saying Harry Potter is against every all, they're, all they're against religions, every religion in the entire world. Like, it's just such a But weird, that's what I'm saying! Clearly they're not term. against it because they have a religion in the books! Very, Stupid! Very weird. I don't understand. Also, Mega Freak, how's it going? Uh, like, I feel like really it's clearly dumb. meant to say anti-Christian. Like, that's, that may as well be what it's trying to convey, but I, for some reason it's But it's anti-Christian anti is a lot different than anti-religion. I, I know, but I, I feel like it's weird. <laughs> like, it's, it's like just to imply, like, that's, like, the only religion. Like, that's it's what they're trying really to say. It's just really dumb. I feel like that's what they're trying to yeah. say. Yeah. Like, that's the only religion. Um, it was just silly though. I'm like, why would this be lit? Like, that is not the number one characteristic of Harry Potter is, oh yeah, that anti-religious book. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to start something, don't get me wrong. I, I'm no. just saying, the idea of it is funny to me. It's like, it's, nothing else can be, like, acknowledged. It's definitely a bizarre choice. I don't know, it's just silly, so... I just thought that was funny though, because when I was growing up, I definitely had like, um, people who were like, oh, Harry Potter's evil, because witchcraft, or whatever. But that was like a million years ago, and those same people who had used to say that have, have now read it and love it. Like, and these are friends of mine, so I'm like, you know. I, well, as growing up, I didn't agree with them at all. I, it's like, well, you have a right to your opinion, I guess. Like, think what you want, but I think you're making a judgment based on not having read the book, which I don't think that's right, but... Um, but, 
they've since changed their tune because they're like, oh, never mind. I gave it a shot and I actually really loved it and it wasn't at all like what I was saying it was before out of ignorance. So I'm like, okay, so it's just bizarre to me that that's like somebody in that bookstore was like, oh, I'm going to keep going with this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> put a bookmark in yeah, it. <laughs> Oh, so dumb. So. I don't know. Right, like, why is this here? Just funny. Yeah, there you go. It'd be more controversial because of the author. I'll believe that nowadays, but... It's just very bizarre. I was like, this is such a weird argument for 2022 that this is an anti-religion book. I don't know. It's just funny to me, but... We're talking about Harry Potter we're being an anti-religious book. We're, we're not discussing anything within no. religion. No, no. I, it's not the same thing. There are two topics I don't talk about. Politics and religion. Yeah, but we're not talking so about religion. So we're not religion. talking about that. I'm talking about a book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about a book, you guys. Actually, I'm not. I'm talking about Barnes & Noble and how bizarrely um, ill-informed their staff must be. And how much I suck at this Christmas level. Anyway, this is what made me think of it, because this is like a Christmas village level. I don't know. So anyway... I'm glad that you also shared this story, though. Uh, speaking of books, I have like five books that I have bought in the past six months and I have not opened any of them and that's a problem. I bought the first uh, book in the Bridgerton series because I want to see I, I want to see how similar it is. I'm kind of one of those people that I like to see a movie or a show before I read the books um, typically because there's more to be discovered within the book so you're not disappointed you're kind of just like oh wow that's different or oh there's even more to that than I than I knew. Um, that's just how I like to do it. I know a lot of people like to read the book first before seeing a movie. I'm just very much the opposite. So, I feel like I'm probably the minority in that, but... I want to start reading, or at least read the first book in the Bridgerton series. Um, which I watched the first season and it was just basically a porno. Um, at a point and kind of lost the charm. And I'm like, okay, that's lovely, but that's not really what I'm here for. Um, but the second season really was a lot better. It had a lot more to it, so I'm kind of curious, like, you know, oh, how, are the, how do the books play out? And I did watch a, I watched a YouTube video on a girl that I follow. Um, I've mentioned this before. Her name's Julia Cudney. And she has read every single one of them. She's like, I've read every single Bridgerton novel in less than a week because I hate my life. And then she like talked about all of them and uh, one of them, she was like, okay, I genuinely love this book. It's basically like a Cinderella story. So I, I kind of am hoping that the series is a win for me um, so that I can get to the Cinderella novel and be happy because that's my favorite. It's my favorite Disney princess favorite princess story. I love it. Um, oh my gosh! How am I getting worse at this somehow? Um, seriously. Uh, oh girl! Welcome to the stream! Thank you so much for... I'm into the points, but they're not your average points. Family 55 months. Howdy, 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 howdy. Look, she said she knows how to say howdy, like with multiple Y's, okay, but like literally can't pronounce other words with multiple letters. It's very bizarre. Um, howdy, 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 howdy. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, um, so that's one of the books I need to read. We're just talking about books, Shliam, and how I need I'm, I want to read the Bridgerton series. 
which I know we've talked about Bridgerton before. Um, anyway, um, <coughs> you know how I am just now noticing the Barney Bubble in the bottom left? <laughs> Shout out to Barney Bubble on the screen. Hey, Shliam designed that, by the way. Here he is, so that's perfect timing. I'm having a lot of trouble with this course, you guys. I'm gonna try one more time, and then I might s switch characters again, just for the heck of it. Um, anyway. You love a good book, you do. Love a good book. So that's one of them I need to read. I need to read, um, this is another one I've mentioned before. My, one of my favorite Broadway stars is Sutton Foster. I got her autobiography, which is all about like how crocheting saved her life. I'm like, ooh, I can relate to this. So I need to read that. Too, which it takes a little bit more for me to read like autobiographies because I'm more of a fiction person personally that's like typically my go-to um, but I still am very excited to read it because I love her and um, I just I want to see what she has to say especially as someone who is on Broadway like in the performing arts and also crocheting that's like a vibe for me and then I also have the entire Princess Diary series. That's the other one I need to start. I love the movies. I need to read the books. And I've actually never, I know like Meg, is it Meg Carbot? Carbot? I don't, I don't know how to say her name. I can't even remember her last name, but um, the author has written like so many like well-known novels that I have yet to read even one of her books. I also have never read Jane Austen, so I'm wanting to, uh, I got Sense and Sensibility recently. Figured, hey, I might as well start with like the first book that she ever wrote. Um, I'm still in four. And we'll go from there. Anyway, I have a very long to-be-read list after being super caught up, like, last year, so I've got a lot of books I need to read. Oh, third? I didn't even know anybody was over there. Shoot. Dang it. Come on now. I don't even see the people in front of me, though, is the problem. No! I have no chance if they're that far ahead. Alright, let's switch up characters. Cabot? I think so. I love the Princess Diaries, too. I have, like, ten books to be read right now, half of which are borrowed from my sister. And me and one of my friends, we used to borrow books from each other all the time, but now I, like, hardly ever see people in real life. <laughs> uh, okay, let me switch, because we haven't even seen all these characters anyway. Um, Sonic 795, how's it going? Diddy Kong Racing was one of my favorite games growing up. I can't believe, like, I never rented this game, or nobody I knew had it, like... My cousins usually had, like, N64 games that we didn't have, um, but they didn't have this one because that's the way I played, like, a lot of games that we didn't have, like, or just saw them. I'm gonna try Diddy. I haven't been Diddy yet. I get bubba, also, uh, love balls, uh, stupid, uh, cool, pizza, uh, bye! Uh, no pants, no pants, I don't know what to think about that. Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Like, I'm into Thank the points, so much for the but they're not Welcome your average the points. Family. <laughs> Big appreciate all the boss to you. 58 months and a tier two sub. Thank you so, so much. All the boss. If we can get all the boss in chat. All right. <coughs> I'm not having luck with this. Diddy's like the Mario of the game. Uh, I think Timber is more like really? the Mario. Really? Like, but that, but like, it's Diddy Kong Racing. I know. But I think if you're looking like average, I think the next is 
Yeah, at least I know where to go. Even if I lose, at least getting a feel. Man, this is so sensitive. I'm sure that that's his honk, too. Not as good as Tip Top, but I'll take it. Alright, so it's basically a big circle, but I just need to go into the cave area for- This just turns so easily. Oh, I lost horribly. Ah! I'm only- I'm what? Lap two? I don't want to do another lap! Look at how far ahead he is. He's so much further than I am. Yeah, we need a honk tier list. I was actually gonna say that. <laughs> what? Oh my god, Narasonic and Odie, you you're on the same wavelength. Honk tier list. As soon as you said that, I was like, oh, she should rank the Oh honks. my god, I'm yes. Sure I would rank the honks so easily, because they're so good. I would rank the voices, too. Manjo, number one. Dang it. I get this beginning turned down. What's the name of the elephant? Taj? Why did I think he had a different name? Taj, slow down. Yeah, because I'm like, I don't think it even said his name once when I loaded in here. Is this one of those games that had like a really cool manual? Because all the Mario Kart games had like the coolest manuals and I remember like doodling the art that was in them. Ugh. I was tragically terrible. Wow, my skills are very No! <laughs> How could you diss me like this? Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, no. I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised that the John Racing is cool. I think Rare had a lot of the John Oh, yeah. But I was looking up stuff that had to do with copyright, and I remember that no, Cool Design had a, had a page that had that really back. But what I didn't remember, that that very same page has a picture of Pierce Brosnan pointing a gun at you. Oh my god! It's so, scary. It's so intense! I'm like, why is this in the back of the manual? I, I posted it in my Discord, <laughs> but it's so scary. I'm like, are you kidding? They're like, you better not, you better not mess with our guy. Wow! I'm gonna we'll kill you, I guess. Jeez! So, so Harsh intense. message. It's pretty funny, though. I feel like they had other things. Equally sus. Yes. Um. This horse is just giving me a run for my money. Oh, cute! That's so cute. Well, Lanky's an orangutan, so... Um... Also, Lanky's my favorite. Lanky's my fave. Uh, I really love, um... Kitty, too. Everybody gives Kitty a hard time, he's so cute. Like, come on, guys. He's like this footy pajama Kong. He's so adorable. Like, why you gotta be mean to him? Really? Mega likes Kitty, too? Okay, good. I don't know if it's a real love of the character or just a... Um... I've never played DKC3. I just really like, and I've never played, I mean, I can't say I've never played DK64, but I've hardly played it. I mean, I've played like the beginning of the game. 
Um, I don't know. I got to wherever you get the jetpack. Okay, so I've played through <coughs> one world of Donkey Kong 64. Um, but even just without playing the games, like seeing the games, seeing Let's Plays and streams of the games. I love both of them. Do you have all the bombs? No, I think I was missing one. I think I was missing Chunky. Or maybe I like just got Chunky and then I stopped. But maybe not. I don't remember. It's been a long time, so. But I remember I, I didn't have Chunky for a really long time if I did end up getting him. Um, but yeah. I don't really like Diddy. He's kind of annoying. And I definitely don't like DK. Pretty much all the other Kongs I like, though. Like, I like Funky Kong. I don't really like Cranky that much, either. That's crazy takes. No, I don't really like Diddy, Donkey, or Cranky. I like all the others. <laughs> They're just annoying. I don't know, DK's too full of himself. Anyway. Um, oh yeah, Crunchy Kong, I forgot, you know. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this level. Is there anything else we can do? Uh, well. Besides try again? Yeah, I, I could go back to the other world, I guess. The lighthouse, or the whale one. I just... Oh, that's true. I could look for the keys. Where's that key? Yeah. If I don't keep doing stupid stuff like this. Yeah, that's. I think that's the biggest thing, honestly. That's what slowed me down. Uh, ooh! I would say Diddy's. Uh, horn is A tier. Tip Tups is S tier, though. <coughs> S for super. Na -na 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 -na. I keep missing these balloons because they're too far to the sides. Wavy. Oh, oh man. The missile sound? No, not like that. Not that, but just the way it Oh, okay. I love a good Kingdom Hearts reference in a game released before. <laughs> oh, I got him! Okay. Oh my god, no! Well, I came in second that time. I am getting better. I'm just getting tired of this thing. What? I, I oh. gotta give you another hint. Though. Okay, what's right. my next hint? I gotta give you another hint. It's gotta be that's the key. Okay, so I'm sorry. Items. What's my next hint? The items upgrade. So what? If you hold on to an item and you grab another one of that, uh, uh, you get a better version. Okay. There's three tiers. What? I didn't know this. Oh, no wonder you were like, why are you just using them? Yeah. I was like, why do you care if I'm just now, using by if you If you grab a different color, then it replaces it, no matter okay. how good it is. Well, let me explain something here. I have Mario Kart anxiety, because I every- know. No, don't speak. Every time you get an item in Mario Kart, it, every time you get a good item, somebody has a lightning bolt and you, you lose it. 
or somebody hits you and you lose it, or a freaking boo comes and steals it. So I'm like used to immediately using my item if it's in my inventory. There's nothing like that. Either. Okay, well, no, I like, it's, it's ruined no me. Everybody item right here. It's that. ruined me. That's the hard part about it. Okay. Anyway. I don't know if that's gonna help you, but it may help you a little. Bit. Yeah, it might help me a little. The second I think. Oh, okay. I think uh, my steering would also help me. That would help me. Not <laughs> None of these balloons are red anymore. <laughs> oh boosh! I got banned. No, I got this freaking chicken, and then he immediately was in front of me again. Oh, I got foghorn leghorn. I'm done with the missile. Lap two. Lap two. Dang it! I re I did. Nah. Like with this knowledge, I'm doing worse. <laughs> I hate how the items are so out of the way. They're all like far to the left, far to the right. A power up. Is there another green? I just set a mine on somebody? That's terrible! Power up! Power up. You sound so smug about it. How do I keep passing people in this cave where I don't see anyone? No! <laughs> no! That cheated me! I did not do it! I was waiting for another red balloon! Freaking Croco, get out of here! This is me off this game. No! Uh. Do you keep sneezing or something and I'm not hearing it? Or, oh, okay. You keep being blessed. Which, to be fair, your coughs do sound like sneezes. So. Alright, I'm getting out of here. I'm switching again. Switch. Alright, who should I play as next? Um, let's play as Foghorn. Let's play as Foghorn. With my permanent 11 that I can't get past. And let's go back here and see if we can maybe find either the key or try one of the challenges. Yeah. Oh, really? Huh. That's which cute. Is, which is crazy because he's an unlockable character and he's red. Yeah. Like, there's not a deep, like, Diddy's not red. It's blue. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Yeah. Um, I already missed one. There it is! There it is! Oh, ooh, uh, dang it, this freaking game. Yeah, now, do I have to win and get this key? I can just leave? Okay. The key unlocks the door. Ooh, uh... <laughs> Uh, why do I feel like that key turned before it went in the door? Are you really trying to put some logic into this? I don't know why I'm trying to put <laughs> logic into this. Where was that door? Is it over here? Fuck! Wait, 
Wait, that's the same as Diddy's horn. That's different. Uh, it's kind of the same. Oh, it's like Auga. First player to hatch three eggs will win. Fire Mountain. Okay, what do I have to do? What? Oh no. Oh, okay. How do I, I but how? I did run over him, it didn't like me. How do I know where, oh, there's Banjo's nest. But Banjo doesn't even have any eggs. This is BS. Okay, can I hold more than one? Where's my nest? It didn't go in my nest though. No, what happened to the egg? I didn't, I got it. <laughs> Turn of the Drew, I agree. Banjo's nest sounds interesting. Yeah, the perfect character. Oh my god, this dumb chicken character. Why is this egg like... What?! No, it didn't! No! Everybody's hatching eggs but me. I can't even get an egg. No! <laughs> oh, come on! I ran over that one! The game hates me. Confirmed. Oh my god. This is what I unlocked? <coughs> Super dumb. I'm going back to the lobby. Yeah, why are the eggs like two pixels wide? That's a great question. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going back to Ancient Lake. I'm gonna try and do the silver coin challenge. Just to see what it's like. And I'll probably, honestly, you guys, I'll probably call it pretty soon, just because um, it's been about two and a half hours. I normally stream for three, but I want to try and save my voice as much as possible since I am still recovering from a cold. If you guys were here yesterday, you probably have already noticed um, that I'm doing much better than last night when I was super sniffly and having to, like, blow my nose into the microphone every five seconds. Um... So I'm definitely doing better as far as recovery goes, but I still don't want to dry out my throat and potentially lose my voice. Because that happens to me a lot. For whatever reason, whenever I get like a cold or anything even fairly resembling a cold, I tend to lose my voice. What happened? What? This is what I'm talking about! The lightning bolt! No one of this. Oh, there it is. Yay! Okay, I got it. Woo! I did it! I feel like whatever I have is just taking over the world. Like, this cold, it seems like everybody has had it. So Shlia, would you're like, sounds like you have what I had last week. Seriously, I probably do. Um. <laughs> Did he honk sounds like those old cars ready to break down? It does. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. And this guy's honk is the Auga. Uh, first try! Let's go. That's a cute emote. Um. That's really cute. I think you've shown that one before, Joyful Ringer. I think I've seen it before, but every time I see it, I'm like, that's so cute. Okay, um, let's go to the other area one more time. With like the lighthouse. We'll try that one once more. Or maybe the other course that we haven't seen. We did the whale one. There was another one we could have done. Here he comes. Where was he? I'm like, um, <laughs> I'm like, is he coming over or? 
That was pretty funny. Alright. There's a bug going around called RSV. It affects mainly kids and elderly. However, I'm sure it doesn't discriminate. Ugh. Tired of all these illnesses, you know? Is that the frog you have to run over? Okay. That probably won't happen because he's, because he's already unlocked. I was just curious. That's really funny. How tragic. Um. Okay, so I did the uh, Whale Bay, Crescent Island. I haven't done these other ones. We can't do anyway. Go ahead and try Crescent Island for fun because we haven't seen this one yet. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of nice. Also, this is a car, so I'm not very good at the hovercraft yet. I'm glad this is a car. Dang it! I of course missed the item. Cute. It goes onto a ship! And I go into a wall! No! Oh, that's fun. Okay, I definitely took the slowest way. <coughs> and my magnet didn't even do anything! Well, that's not fair! What if I want to be, like, far away? like I have time for an upgrade. I was gonna say, those are like pretty spaced out and not super common from what I've seen. Really? It reminds me of a... Uh, oh, that is pretty funny. This re reminds me of Toontown, like the items, because they all have kind of like the gag thing going for him. Definitely very cartoony. Definitely very bad at those terms. Items are very generic. Yeah, that's true. Which, you know, that's kind of the idea with Toontown of like generic cartoony sort of gags. And... Well, like the magnet is a gag in Toontown. Uh, there are definitely, like, elements of, like, the explosive variety. The missile's more generic, I think, but... I don't know, just the look of them or something. Well, I came in 8th out of 8, so that was absolutely tragic. Tuxa Pizza, how's it going? All right, I am gonna go back to the main menu for character sake. I'm gonna try that one snow. I'm actually gonna try that one snow course one more time. I've raced as everybody, but this guy, th this guy, and Croco. So, but I feel like I have the best results with Tip Tup. So let's go ahead and try one more time with him. And then we'll probably call it a night, honestly, you guys. Slow-mo run. Get over here. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Okay. Let's move. I have been really enjoying this game, though, which I I knew I would. No. Well, I didn't expect it to be much different from Mario Kart, and it's really not, just beyond the... You know, like, the controls are a little different, but not so ridiculously different that it's like, I can't do this, or like, so... It, the con it controls well, is what I'm trying to say. I like that you're not Yeah. That's kind of nice, too, that you can just retry the same tracks over and over. Yeah, 
Yeah, it didn't, it didn't hit anybody. Sucked. No, I got stuck on the wall? Come on, people. But anyway, I have been really enjoying this. I like the character selection. I like that it, there's kind of like an overworld. Because obviously Mario Kart is not like that at all. There's no overworld, hub world area. So it's kind of fun to have that as um, part of this. And I have enjoyed that for sure. It's fun. It, it, it feels like a different style game than just a racing game. For sure. It's right. But I like that about it. I like that it's not just another Mario Kart, is what I'm trying to say. But just the whole structure of it is different. Yeah. Bubbles! Bubbles! I don't know what that did, but... Why? Oh. Well, no one was around me! Oh. I've tried, and I keep hitting that dumb green balloon instead. <laughs> so... I know, I was so close! You got, you got this. I didn't realize you were that close. I was so close! Okay, one more try. I know I keep saying this, but one more try. One more try. I think all video game weapons should be replaced with Toontown gags. They're so good. Um, the boost. Also, again, sorry if I haven't been looking at chat as much during this stream, you guys, just because of the nature of a racing game. It's a little bit more difficult than usual. Oh, it has, like, multiple! Oh, I got her! Here, I'll take basic bees. Oh, nice! Right. Lap two. Pikachu. No, no, no. I'm going zigzaggy. I love that he says power up like a second too late. Like it's just a little delayed. I know, but it seems like it does it a second too late. It's just funny to me. Come on, I'm so close to this child. No, you are not gonna pass me. Oh my gosh, Diddy! This is so stupid. Man, do you see how what garbage that was? Like, not only did I get the item to like get the person in front of me, but then it was just like, oh, the guy behind you, I think he'll get a boost. Dumb. All right. Well, I feel like if I keep trying, I'm gonna keep trying forever. So I'm gonna just call it at that and uh, cut myself a break because. I 
think I did pretty good for, like, never having played this before, for learning the controls, like, two and a half hours ago, and just playing through what I could. Um, I'm pretty proud of myself, and I almost got to the end of that second world, or to the boss battle. So that makes me pretty happy, and then I know, like, when we play this again, I can start there, and I'll have more time, and my, you know, holding down the A button, my thumb gets fatigued anyway, so I think it's a good idea to just leave it at that regardless. Um, but this has been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed, um, I've really enjoyed this game so far. I definitely need to get a handle on the other vehicles, especially the hovercraft. I'm really bad at that so far, but... I really like it, and I'm glad that this has, like, been a trip down memory lane for a lot of you who grew up with this game, because I know how, how much fun that is to watch somebody play a game you grew up with. Uh, so it's definitely been a lot of fun, and I want to thank you guys uh, so much for all your support tonight, for being very active and wonderful in the chat, even though I couldn't be as involved in the chat tonight, or as involved in responding. But, um, I appreciate you keeping the conversation going, and... Um, I also just appreciate your viewership. Any of you guys lurking, thank you so much. Um, we also had quite a bit of generosity tonight. Gen generous donations, um, hitting the Disney Dreamlight Valley goal. So I definitely have to download that after the stream and get that worked into the upcoming schedule for um, probably within the next two weeks, I would say, because I'll probably start that on like a... Tuesday or maybe even a Saturday. I'm not sure. I definitely want to keep playing this too. Um, and I have an idea for like a creative just chatting Monday stream um, that I want to do this week, especially as we get into like, as it's now autumn and we're getting into like Halloween and everything. Um, I have an idea for that. So I'll probably play Maybe I'll play this again on Tuesday, or I could even revisit this next Saturday. I might just have another poll, to be honest, because I'm not sure. But thank you so much to everybody who donated to... Bless you. That was <laughs> Thank you to everybody who donated tonight to Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm so glad you guys are interested in that. I know I talk about Disney all the time, and while I love it and I talk about it constantly, I don't know how much everybody else loves it and how much everybody else is interested. So that was another reason I'm like, I don't know, like... Should I go that hardcore? But I guess you should follow your heart, right? So thank you guys for making that happen. Yo, yo, Yoshi95, you're just joining for the end, but hey, we love it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for all the new follows. I'm gonna pull up my credits in just a second, but I wanted to say thank you to Psycho Nacho Man for the gift sub earlier, as well as TwitchNick022 for the gift sub earlier tonight, because those will not appear in the credits. It'll just, uh, only the um, giftee will appear not the gifter. Um, so let's go ahead, bless you again. <laughs> let's go ahead and get this launched um, so that we can see the credits of this fabulous DK music, DK, Diddy Kong music in the background. Um, but thank you so much for all of your amazing support tonight, everybody. Um, thank you Twitchnik, Kabumek, Matina, Phantom Tempest for the donations. So generous of you guys. Psycho Nacho Man and Startup, thank you for the bits, as well as the song, Psycho. Bree, Odie, and Pixie, and Slim Kirby, thank you for being here and lurking as moderators. Rumor, Sleeper, K Slacks, and Dev, thank you for the follows. Snack, Narusonic, Rolly, Does Diz, Ghost Fishy, Shliam and Balls Deep, thank you for the subs, and Bubba and Gamer Michael, thank you so much for the raids. I really appreciate it. Um, shout out as well to my Patreon family for the month of September 2022. Love you guys and thank you for all of your support. Um, going above and beyond like this always makes a difference each month, so I appreciate your kindness in pledging to my Patreon. And if you guys want to learn more about that, I've got a link for you. Um, or actually, oh, was that, was that just good timing or did someone beat me to it? I feel like it was just good timing in my chat. There's a link in the chat with no command, so look at that. Um, but I do also, um, in addition, there we go. I also want to share my link tree, which has all of my socials on it. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram. I have a Discord server. I'm on YouTube. I back up almost all of my streams to YouTube. Um, and I have an Etsy store, so check out my Etsy shop if you are interested in shopping small. Um, I'm gonna be working on my fall Halloween, fall slash Halloween co collection. And one other thing I want to start, um, 
advertising you guys is my Halloween stream, which is an annual event that happens every single year on Halloween night. This will be the 13th annual Halloween stream. I started it the very first year I began LPing, which was in 2010. And this will be the 13th year, ooh, spooky! So I'm excited, that'll be uh, Monday, October 31st. Um, as of right now, it's at 9 p.m. Eastern. The time is still a little tentative. Um, it might, I might change it to 8 p.m., but I'm kind of leaning towards 9 p.m. right now. So it's all Eastern time. Hopefully you guys can make it. And in addition to that, I've also got the Stacked Game Marathon coming up. Please check out the link tree in the chat to learn more about that as well, because that's a charity marathon event that actually happens the week before Halloween. So um, definitely check that out. And thank you guys so, so much for watching tonight, for being part of this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see who else is live right now that we could raid. And... Oh, this is kind of the same world, sort of. Well, you know, a racing game. Just Janie is playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. She's having a community game night. So why don't we go ahead and give her a raid if you guys feel like racing yourselves on Mario Kart 8. Um, so let me get her stream loaded and then we'll get hashtags going. Um, and let's see. Let's do Tip... Tip Tups... Tip Tups Hawk. Or Tip Tup Honk, maybe. Or may and then Honk Tier List. Let's do Honk Tier List when. Because that implies that we did not make an actual Honk Tier List, but we should have. Um, you guys, thank you so much again uh, for all your love and support. Uh, let's go ahead and get this raid going here. And also, last but not least, my schedule is Monday, Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, Friday, Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Some, most, uh, there are a lot of Saturdays coming up that will have cancellations or rescheduled streams, so just keep an eye out for that on Twitter and Discord. But I will see you guys on Monday at 2 p.m. Hopefully I will be free of this cold by then. Uh, but thank you so much to everybody for all your support tonight. I love you all. Please take care of yourselves. Stay healthy, stay safe, and, um... Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye, everybody.